Hey everybody, the Dread Duck here, and uh, surprise, I'm, I'm still alive. Who knew? Um, sorry about the fact that there has been pretty much no content for the entirety of the year, but uh, seems like turns out that uh, 2020 was a bad year to start a LARP based uh, YouTube channel on. Who could ever have predicted? But uh, it, uh, I'm back and I actually have something that hopefully will be of value to some people. Um, <clears throat> so uh, Reddit user Uriah Oli uh, actually kind of gave me the idea for this and I want to thank them and this goes out to them because I hope it's useful to them. Um, <clears throat> they uh, were commenting on the fact that Bikalin is a fantastic event but it's just simply too expensive to attend and so that's what I wanted to address is the misconception that Bikaline is too expensive compared to other LARPs uh, and similar events so I want to address in advance a couple of factors here. The first is uh, I am in no way affiliated with Beacaline. I don't work for them. This is not, you know, the information that I'm using is information gained from their website and other publications that are available online or were when things before 2020. Um, the other thing I want to address is that a lot of people conflate Beacaline, the Grand Bataille, the seven day event with the voyage north and i want to give full props and uh i want to acknowledge the voyage north because they are a they are a great organization they offer um what essentially is a concierge service for bicoline which is you go to bicoline with them you have everything taken care of for you you need to do nothing except show up and they will provide you with a ready-made lodging, food, friends, army, you, you name it. You, it. It is a full service product. Um, but it's expensive. And that's just the reality of it. If you want concierge service, you're going to pay for it. But there are other options. And that's what I wanted to address in this video is what those other options are. And... To tell you that, in fact, you can go to Bicolin for about $140 US. Now, that's a minimum price, and I'm going to go through what all the other options are. So, stick around and let's talk about what it actually costs to go to Bicolin. All right, so the Grand Bataille of Bicoline is the seven-day event that occurs in August of every year, except 2020, uh, and will hopefully resume here in 2021. Um, and we're going to go through the options you have for the seven-day event at Bicoline. Um, first, let's talk about entry fees. So there's membership and non-membership pricing. We're, I'm gonna give you the non-member pricing because that's the cheapest. Uh, it's not really, if you wanna pay for an annual membership, it kinda of gives you some perks, but it adds a little bit to the cost. But you get a discounted fee when you're paying for these entries. So it's sort of a wash, but again, I'm just gonna give you these numbers as they are. So the first thing is if you only want to attend two days, which is you show up on Friday, you get to meet everybody and do all the stuff, and then Saturday you're there for the big battle, the, the Grand Bataille itself, um, the total cost on that is approximately, and we're using 2019 numbers, approximately 135 US dollars, uh, 175 Canadian. Um, if you want to go for the five day event, which you show up on Tuesday, you're there through Saturday that gets you all the battles, but, um, it, well, that depends. Sometimes there's a battle on Monday, sometimes not, but 
anyway, that increases your cost up to 200 US dollars um, or 255 Canadian. I think these numbers, if you think about it, these are very comparable to US LARP prices. Your typical US LARP uh, will run you about $70 for a two day event somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, Bakelian's a, a lot larger event, so $135 for a two-day event, $200 for a five-day event, or then $230 for the full ticket, uh, $295 Canadian. That gets you there. You enter on Sunday, get set up, the event runs through Saturday, and then you pack up and leave the following Sunday. Um, also, there is a shuttle available that will take you from Montreal to Bikelin and on uh, Sunday and then take you back the following Sunday and that's 43 around $43 US $55 Canadian um, now obviously so that so that $135 US is the minimum price that you could pay to attend this event that does not take into account things like your travel obviously um, that's impossible to calculate because uh, you know I don't know where you live or maybe I do, but I probably don't. So um, that's really difficult to uh, to calculate in. Also, you know, there are some other considerations, which is you have to be in decorum clothing the entire time. But decorum, decorum does not mean fancy. It does not mean you have to dress up in some elaborate garb. Um, so we actually kind of tested this last year with my mother-in-law which was, you know, we, we had to outfit her for a seven day event and we found stuff on Amazon that could be repurposed. So for about $30 on Amazon, you can get some, you know, hippie shirts, which are just essentially tunics, um, Thai fisherman pants. You can get some just, you know, uh, again, I'm going to call them hippie dresses. Um, Footwear is really the most challenging thing because you're going to want footwear that is both comfortable, durable, and decorum. That's three things, not both. Um, and that's that can be a little bit of a challenge, but honestly, sandals work if you're not fighting in them. Um, what you are fighting in, they tend to give a lot of flexibility on what you wear on the battlefield because we'd rather have somebody not you know, break an ankle or their foot, then make sure that everyone has authentic period footwear the entire time. So, um, footwear probably should be your biggest, you know, one of your biggest expenses if you're trying to go on the cheap, but you totally can go on the cheap. So, you know, again, so 230 us dollars for the entire event. Um, let's say you go all out and you buy yourself four or five sets of clothing um, off Amazon, you know, buying the, the hippie clothes, you probably could do the whole thing for under $300. Um, what does that not include? Well, that, that, that doesn't include lodging. So let's talk about that. Non-decorum camping. That means you bring your own tent or cot or sleeping bag or tarp or whatever it is you want to sleep in on or under and it's free the, you're you're not in a convenient place because they don't want the non-decorum site to be right in the view of everyone because it would you know it breaks it breaks the immersion so you got a bit of a you got a bit of a hike to get to non-decorum camping but it doesn't cost you anything you stay there it's the cost of entry um, decorum camping, if you have your own period tent, they'll provide you with a place to set that up and that's included with the cost of admission. If you have neither and you want to stay in a period tent right in the middle of things, uh, the Faubourg is a place you can rent a tent. Um, it costs around, and again, all these prices may change in 2021, but they're approximates. It costs you around 385 dollars us or 490 canadian uh, to rent a tent that has two cots and a lockable storage box 
So you split that with somebody. Again, you've got a period tent with storage and a place to sleep for, I think, a very reasonable price. Um, as far as the use of facilities there, it's Port of John's everywhere on site. Um, they're, they're well concealed again because we, you know, they don't like to break the immersion. So, you know, there's not just a porta potty sitting in the middle of the site, but they're available and they are the cleanest porta potties you will ever experience. Uh, I don't know how many of you have been like to music festival porta potties and wanted to cut off your body parts after you left them. Um, they are serviced morning and evening and they are impec. You, I don't want to say you can eat off them, but, um, maybe that'll be a challenge. We'll see. Uh, so if you need to shower, wash up, there's the river. It's free. Go down to the river anytime. Spend the entire seven days in the river if you want. Uh, there will be shrinkage. It's cold. Uh, but be sure to bring a paraben-free soap because we don't want to harm the uh, the little critters that live there. Um, and then, of course, they do have uh, full modern shower facilities, but those do cost. Uh, it's about four U.S. dollars per shower. You can get a 20, 20 credit card, which gives you ten showers. And that's about 37, 35, $37 U US, $48 Canadian. So we still haven't talked about meals. Uh, and if you're going to be there for seven days, there's a good chance you're going to need to eat. Um, or, I mean, you know, great diet option. Uh, if you want to bring your own food, do it. If you want to bring a jar of peanut butter and a spoon and live off that for seven days, you can do it. That costs you whatever the hell a jar of peanut butter costs these days. I, I have no idea. Um, but there are other options. So there are meal packages provided by Bicoline that you can purchase. Um, so you can purchase an entire week's worth of meals, 21 meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, for $256 US or 327 Canadian, thereabouts. Um, uh, you can buy just breakfasts, $76 US, 97 Canadian, just lunches. I'll just interject my own opinion on lunches here. Uh, generally, all the things that happen at Bicoline that you want to be a part of as far as battles and... Uh, all the exciting sort of fun running around in the woods type stuff tends to happen right around lunchtime. So most people skip lunch and you know, you do a big breakfast and a big dinner and you tend to skip lunch. But if you just want to sit around and eat all day, that's also an option. So uh, $94 or 120 Canadian for lunch packages, $103 for the supper package, uh, 132 Canadian. Um, and you can just eat to your heart's content. There's nothing wrong with going with those meal packages. And if you, again, this, this kind of gets back to that whole, how much do you want to pay for? Do you, do you want to not have to worry about things? Those are options. And again, services like the Voyage North will take care of you on that. They, they will provide that for you, or you can choose yourself what you want to do. And then a la carte options. There's food vendors all over the site. Um, some come and go, like there's the smoked salmon guy that shows up on Friday that, oh my God, you just, the smoked salmon guy on Friday, you just make just make a plan. Don't, Friday you're gonna sit there and just eat lunch that's smoked salmon. Uh, there's, there's a marketplace where you can go and buy sandwiches and soups and fresh fruit. Um, there's a bakery where you can, or, uh, uh, you can go and get chocolatine, pain au chocolate. I don't know. It, there's a big argument over that. I don't, it, whatever. You can go and get baked goods and they're delicious. Um, there's, there's a, there's a poutine shop. There's, I mean, there's stuff everywhere where you can get food. Also the cheapest and the best way to get food at Bicoline is to make friends. Um, all the guilds, are very friendly and very open as long as you're polite and introduce yourselves and ask for permission before you just wander into their camp and start uh, putting your hands all over stuff. 
Um, if you make friends, you will have meals. Uh, in fact, I, I will just tell you right now, here, here's my, my promise to anyone who watches this video. If you watch this video and you find me at Beekling, I will provide you with a meal. Um, probably more than one, but just come up to me and say, hey, I saw your video and I'm hungry and I will make sure that you're well fed. <laughs> so there are lots of options. Um, it, it would be very hard to go hungry at Bikaline. Um There's actually a story uh, I heard the other day of a guy who went to Bikaline. He paid nothing but the entry fee. He had no place to stay. He didn't have meals or anything like that. He was like sleeping in a ditch. Um, but he made friends with somebody in one of the large guilds. They invited him into their into their buildings. He stayed there, um, and they provided him with meals for the entire week. Uh, now I'm not saying you know be be a hobo and and beg from people, but um, if you if you're not a, just a, a terrible person, um, you're going to make friends. You're going to make friends because everyone there has the same interests. We're all. You know, we get out on the battlefield and we point at each other and angrily scowl, but uh, we really all love each other and it's a fantastic, uh, you know, whatever, it's a love fest, it's not Woodstock, but close. Uh, it's, you really, you you would have a hard time going hungry at, at Bikulin, so we'll just move on. So let, let's say that you've looked at all this and you're like, oh my god, I... I I want all that. I want all the things, right? This I want to buy everything that's available to me. So here you go. If you wanted to buy everything that Bicoline offers at the 2019 prices, your total expenditures, 951 US dollars or 12, 15 Canadian, um, that gets you the full seven day access, a tent for two people, uh, 21 meals, 20 credits on a shower card, which is 20 entries into the facilities with 10 showers, basically. Um, and the shuttle from Montreal to Bigeline and back. $951. So for under $1,000, you get all the things. Um, so everyone's saying, oh my God, it's unaffordable. It's simply not true. I mean, yes, a thousand dollars is is nothing to, to scoff at, but uh, it's it, it's a significant amount of money. But it's not what people think it is. It's not. I mean, um, find a hotel that you can stay in for a week for a thousand dollars and get fed and have the Bikulin experience, and um, you're not going to do it. It's not that, that doesn't exist. Um, it's it's not a bad deal at all, honestly. Um, so if you, you want to go on the cheap, I just want to show up and I want to fight on Saturday. No problem. There it is. There's your actual number, 135 US dollars or 175 Canadian. You can really do that. It's possible. Um, again, all this depends on where you're at. If you're in Australia, I love you guys. Um, getting there, you know, you guys could build a boat. I'm just saying, I know the flight's expensive. I know that is a problem. Yeah, and you have a lot of luggage because all of you want to look fantastic. And uh, I'm just saying you might look into the cost of lumber because boat building is an option. Um, but uh, ultimately, all this is doable, affordable, and possible. So final thoughts. Um, I did want to do this video uh, to dispel some of the myths about the cost of Bikaling. I uh, I think that you know a lot of people just simply don't know this information. Again, I want to stress: I am not saying that taking an option like the Voyage North is a bad deal. I went with the Voyage North. Um, they're a fantastic opportunity if you can afford it because they really do take care of everything for you you simply show up with your body now you you still have to pay the travel costs no matter what you do you got you got to get to quebec right so um once you're there with the voyage north they will take care of everything 
Um, but it's not the only option, and I don't want people to be under the impression that it is the only option because uh, we want to keep the world of Bicolin a vibrant and fresh community. We want new people experiencing. We want it to grow. We want it to... Uh, I mean, right now, it's an amazing, huge, beautiful event, but we want, you know, I want everyone to be able to have the opportunity to experience what it is. And in order to do that, they have to be able to afford it. So I did want to provide people who think they can't afford it with a lot of other options, a lot of things to consider. Now, what I didn't cover in all this, I literally just covered what you can buy through Bicolin themselves. Um, now, there are guilds at Bicolin, as I started to cover in my previous videos, but I was really not able to go as far into that as I would have liked. Guilds do offer some other options. Um, if you want to look into that, um, feel free to contact me and if you know, tell me what your interests are, and I'll try to connect you to a guild that has similar interests. Um, there are there are a lot of other ways that you can get involved in this, um, but those entry fees are fixed. I mean. They are what they are. You're still going to have to pay those entry fees. Although some guilds may cover entry fee for all their members, but you pay a dues. It just kind of depends. Um, so that's the costs. That's what it's all about. And if, uh, if you have any questions, do contact me. Reach out to me. Leave a comment. Be sure and subscribe. Hit the notification bell because apparently I'm doing videos again. So there you go. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when I do another one six months from now or sooner. Hopefully sooner. Yay. Uh, so thank you all and I'll see you all next time.